Good morning, everyone. It's customary to learn the six chapters of Pirkei Avot, Ethics of Our Fathers, during the six Shabbatot between Passover and Shavuot, as we prepare ourselves to receive the Torah from God at Mount Sinai and the Ten Commandments on the holiday of Shavuot. And there's a teaching in Pirkei Avot and Ethics of Our Fathers that says, Da Ma Lama, Know what is above you. Eye in Roed is an eye that sees, Ozen Shamas, an ear that hears, Bechal Masech and all your deeds, Besefer Nichtavim, are recorded and written down in a book. Now this teaching is almost 2,000 years old, but we could understand it today better than ever. When I go onto my computer and I do a search for a product or a service, suddenly I start getting advertisements on my internet page promoting products of that sort. Clearly, there is an eye that sees everything I'm doing. And sometimes I could be having a discussion with someone about something and I have my phone next to me and the next thing I turn it on and then ad for that product comes up so there's an ear that sees. And of course, everything you do is recorded, it's written in a book. Everything you type is stored for permanent recollection. And so if our modern day technology could do it, surely God can do it. But the question is, what is the Mishnah trying to teach us? Does God have nothing better to do with his time than to listen to everything I say and watch everything I do and record everything, all my deeds? And the answer perhaps is, you know, when you overhear your children speaking, as a parent, you listen in. Why are you listening in? Not because you're like a, uh, you want to punish them if they say something wrong or do something wrong. But on the contrary, because you love them and you care about them, you want to listen and hear what they're talking about. You want to learn more about them. You want to be proud of them. And that's the same thing with God. God is listening and watching over us because of His love and His concern for each and every one of us. Now with the internet, if you don't want Big Brother Tech watching over you, you can go off the grid. But in life, we can't go off the grid. God is constantly watching us. But that shouldn't intimidate us or cause us to be afraid of God. On the contrary, it should remind us how much God loves us, that He takes the time to listen to everything we're saying and watch everything we're doing and record all of our deeds. And therefore, we should make sure that all of our deeds and all of our words and all of our actions should make God, our Father in Heaven, proud. It's a story about this college kid. He was an average player and he worked really hard on the team and his father would come to every single game and cheer him on. Well, at the end of the season, before the final game, his father passed away. And the coach said, you know, you're dismissed from playing in the last game. I know you lost your father. He wasn't that great of a player anyway, so he dismissed him. But the player said, no, I really want to play. Please, he begged the coach to allow him to play. And he showed up to that final game and he played a game like he never played the whole season. He performed amazingly and was the most valuable player in that game. And afterwards, the coach said, what happened? I saw you play today like I've never seen you play all season. And he said, you know how my father would come to every game with me? He said, yeah, of course, your father never missed a game. He was always cheering for you. He says, well, my father was blind. And today was the first time he got to see me play. God is watching down upon, of us, upon us. Our loved ones in heaven are watching over us. There's an eye that sees, an ear that hears. Everything is recorded. Let us recognize how much God loves us and always make Him proud. Have a wonderful day.